Good morning, guys. You wouldn't believe where I am right now. I am right now in Iceland. It's like in the country. They never ask for my passport anywhere. In Europe, they're a little bit more relaxed. I'm so pumped to be here because I have literally flown from Canada to Finland, from Finland to Canada, probably a hundred times and I've actually never had the opportunity to actually leave the airport and go explore this crazy island. But finally, I have the opportunity to come and visit Iceland for five days. A few weeks ago, my brother Maddie messaged me and says, hey, how would you feel about meeting up in Iceland and work on a gig together? And I was like, heck yeah. I would love to meet you in Iceland. It's the happy medium for us. He flew in from Toronto with his editor Matt and I flew in from Helsinki to Iceland. Met here in the middle. Now we're gonna spend five days here shooting and filming together on a project. As well, I am also gonna be creating some vlogs from this trip because I thought it would be fun to just create some behind the scenes videos. And so I thought now would be a great time to show you what my favorite vlogging setup is. There's a lot of reasons why I'm using the Canon EOS R with the Canon 1635, the ND drop-in filter, the Gorillapod, and the Rode video mic. First of all, the Canon EOS R. Super lightweight, great image, great colors. The autofocus is fast. It's so precise and fast, so I always know that when I'm vlogging and filming myself, it's gonna be in focus. As well, having the flip LCD screen right here, it's so handy to be able to turn around and see exactly how it's gonna look when you're filming yourself. You know, just the other day I was using the 1DX Mark II and I was like, how the heck do you vlog with this camera? Because you can't even see what you're filming. So definitely the Canon EOS R, great camera for vlogging. The Canon 1635, it's a lens that I love to use because it's wide enough for the talking shots. It really invites you into the scene, but as well, I can zoom into 35 if I do need to get more tight shots. For example, I'm doing some nice epic B-roll. As well, the Canon Rode mic. I love this mic because every time you turn on the camera, the mic turns on. You know, previous models with the Rode video mic, you always had to turn it on, or the, if the battery ran out, all of a sudden you wouldn't be filming any of the audio and maybe you do a talking shot and you just miss the whole moment. So having the Rode video mic Pro Plus, I think it's called, super handy. Whenever you turn on the camera, it turns on as well. The ND drop-in filter, that's something new I just got for the Canon EOS R. Really loving it because I hated always screwing on the ND filter with the lens and switching from different lenses. And now I just have one ND filter always in the adapter that I can use. And it's super handy if you're vlogging, you can easily just scroll with your finger and just adjust the exposure brighter or darker. And the last, the Gorillapod right now that's holding up this camera. This is a love-hate relationship. I love the Gorillapod, it helps me vlog. It's so easy to hold the camera up far away from you or put it down somewhere, maybe attach it to a tree or put it on a table or whatever you need to vlog. But at the same time, it's so annoying. So it's a real love-hate relationship with the Gorillapod. Especially if it's really cold, the legs get so stiff and it's hard to really control them and it's just not good. So this is the vlogging setup I'm gonna be using this week. I think I'm actually already a little bit late so I need to run to the hotel room and pack my stuff. All right, off to another day of adventuring around Iceland. Today is a long day of driving. I actually don't even know where we're going. Matt, where are we going today? He doesn't even know where we're going. I'm gonna ask my brother where we're going because we both know where we're going. It's kind of nice to do a trip like this because usually when I'm doing trips, I'm having to do all the planning and the traveling and the organizing. And now this time, Matty gets to do it all. How do you feel about that, Matty? Wait, I thought you planned it. I haven't planned anything. Where are we going? A few hours down, just made it to Diamond Beach. It's kind of funny because I've never been to Iceland and I have no clue what to expect. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> totally just left the car door open. Matt saves the day and then closed the doors. I think we're a little bit jet lagged still. <laughs> I'm just gonna run. Come on, Matt, they run! Run! Yeah. 
trying to wake myself up from all this driving. <laughs> First one's gonna get the prize. Oh dang, it's windy. So out of shape. Definitely can't handle a lot of running. Check this out. It's a really blue lake. Glacier water's everywhere. Check this out. Woo! This is icicles. So all right, three or four hours of driving, we just came to the most epic place here in Iceland called Stocksnes. Just, I gotta run out here and just show you. This looks insane. Check this out. I feel like this is something from Lord of the Rings or something. All right, now that this vlog is stopped, I gotta just pull out the camera and go get some epic photos right now and film this place. This is way too good. Sky, I've seen it before. It turns truth into 